Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the breaking team news for Everton versus Crystal Palace. Game kicks off in what? An hour's time. An hour in one minute. We are just waiting for that team news to come in. It is due in any second now. So as soon as we have it, we will uh, we will tell you. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments on the team um, when it comes in. Which it should be right now. Okay, here we go. Here's the Everton team. Olsen in goal. Seamus Coleman. Luca Dean. Michael Keane. Mina. Holgate. Davis. Gomez. Hamas Rodriguez. Richarlison. And Calvert-Lewin. Virginia on the bench. Tyra. Sigurdsson. King. In Nkunku. Godfrey is on the bench. John Philippe Gabamon is on the bench. Alert, alert. John Philippe Gabamon is on the bench. Broadhead and John also on the bench. No, Alan. Alan misses out, I would imagine, through injury. Uh, but the big news is Gabamon is on the bench. There you go. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Interesting one. Uh, again. Not not too much to play with from an Everton perspective. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me just get that team up on the on the screen for you. I'm just gonna get it and grab it now. So I wonder if Ben Godfrey's still suffering um, from. Um, the injury he got for the England under 21s. There's the team there. Olsen returning after injury, of course. Seamus Coleman, Dean. So it looks like Seamus Coleman playing right midfield, something I suggested on the starting 11 show. Um, Keane and Mina, partnership in the middle. Holgate right back. Tom Davis sitting in front of the back four. With Gomez and Hamas Rodriguez maybe playing as a number 10. Again, something I suggested on the start 11 show. And Richarlison and uh, probably playing more onto the left with Calvert-Lewin. Obviously up front. Um, yeah, Gabamon is real. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't been put out to pasture. He hasn't been put, um, you know... They haven't tried to get the insurance money, as some um, non-real people claimed. Um, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Let me get the Crystal Palace lineup. It's just interesting to see whether he's actually like he can actually play, or Everton are just sort of putting him there because why not? As a reward, as a reward for all the hard work, um, and obviously with no Allen. Um, that leaves a space. So the Crystal Palace team is Guatia, Ward, Quote, Kale, Van Aanholt, um, Vilovic, Reedweld, Ezi, Zaha, Ayu, and Ben Teche. Quite attacking aside, actually, from Palace. Um, yeah, quite a quite an attacking side. Um. Yeah, and they've even got like the likes of Batashai and Maiter, is it? The, the new lad they brought in from Germany on the bench as well. So uh, a lot of attacking options in there. I mean, they've got four four attacking options there. So they've gone with a very attacking lineup. But um, for us, I would imagine that we will play again with the back four with Seamus Coleman playing just in front of Holgate. Tom Davis sitting in front of the back four with Gomez. Hamas Rodriguez ahead of him. And then maybe Richarlison playing off the left and, and um, Dominic Calvin-Loon up front. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, but it's good. Good to have Kabam and Bakhto. Real good positive for him. Positive for us as well, whether we see him or not. 
obviously he's, he's close. Listen, we had we had that when Alan came back, he didn't play for a few games. He was on the bench, and it was more like just filling the bench. And maybe I think maybe that's what it'll be today. Maybe that's what it'll be, just filling that bench out. Uh, Tom Gibbons, what happened to Bernard? I've got no idea. The last I heard, apparently he was he had an illness, but I've got no idea. I haven't really haven't spoke about him. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to see what happens. Uh, we'll just have to be competitive today. I imagine you know these these are good on the break, and we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to control the ball. Um, height will be a factor. Obviously, we are covered pretty well at the back midfield. Gomez um, can cope. Tom sitting in front of the back four. Receiving the ball off the back four, he's been good doing that role. Maybe not good when he's played in, you know, in Burnley when against Burnley when he was played, sort of away from that position. Um, disappointing that there's no Allen. Of course, he 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 is com- you know combative in there, moves the ball well, um, and also because it's coming off the back of the international break, you always think like you've had a couple of weeks. Um, You've had the you've had a couple of weeks to 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 get to get yourself a hundred percent fit and he um and he's not available, which is sad, which is sad, but um yeah, yeah. Um but it's great, it's good. But as I said, as I said, Alan, when he came back he, he had a couple of games on the bench and he was just there to make up the numbers and it'll be the same for Gabaman today, just to get him back to Gunnison Park, knowing what it feels like to be part of you know, ready being you know, got walking into the ground and um sitting on the bench. I mean I, listen, I I don't know how fit he is how fit he is, so I can't honestly sit here and say he's not gonna play or he is gonna play or whatever. I have got no idea how fit he is. Um but he can't be that far away. Might take a couple of more weeks, but he can't be that far away for being um obviously ready to go. Um but you know, but he might be ready to go today. I don't know. He might have had a couple of weeks of really solid training, so it's going to be really interesting to see whether he is actually someone we could bring in off the bench. Especially when you look at that team. Let me just get that team up again. Especially when you look at that team on the bench. You know, who is the really can come in in midfield? You know, well, Sigurdsson, yeah, for maybe Hamas Rodriguez, but who else? Godfrey, maybe, maybe. The rest are all kids. You know, so. Okay, Josh King's an option up front, of course. The rest are all kids. So, um, if if you know if if Davis or 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 Gomez pick up an injury today, then Kabamman, I suppose, better be ready to come on, unless it's Sigurdsson. So, um, but there you go. To be honest, it's another one of games where you look at the bench and think, what, what options did the manager have? Um, um, do I think Holgate being midfield? No, I mean, what well, doesn't actually no. I wouldn't say there's any ev- evidence to say he will be. He, I think he'll be playing right back with Seamus Coleman in front of him, like he did against Manchester City um, and against Liverpool. I think at the moment, put that in me starting eleven. That I think that's what what he likes to do, and then Seamus can get back then, and then Seamus can get up the pitch. It's it it, it there's a fl- fluency to it, isn't it? Can move to three if it needs to. Um, but as you know, Palace have gone with a very attacking lineup, a very attacking lineup. So they'll they will fancy this today. They'll think they can get something. First ten minutes are going to be really crucial. I think these are really going to have a go at us today. Um, so let's let's see what happens. Don't forget, you can get over to toffeepicks.com if you've not already. Go over there now. Get it on your phone and get toffeepicks.com up and play the game. You've got 50 minutes to play. Sign up and play if you haven't signed up already. A prize pot of £500. If there's one winner, they'll win £250. Get your, get your, now you know what the team is. Get over there and, 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 and play. It's free. T's and C's apply. Bet responsibly. And uh, you must be over 18. But it is free. It is free. Um, now you know what the team is. You can go over there and play that. Uh, last time we had five winners. They won a hundred pounds each. Uh, no idea what's happened to Alan. I, I couldn't tell you. Did, you know, um, 
I'm sure the manager will will um, will let anyone know everyone know. But it's disappointing, like I said, after an international break where you've had a couple of weeks of rest, and then you see that someone like Alan's not available. It's annoying. Uh, I'll be playing three at the back. Uh, I had no idea, but I don't think there's any ev- evidence to suggest we are because we've played with Seamus Coleman at right midfield or playing almost like a wing back with f- in front of four defenders before. So I don't think there's any evidence to suggest we are playing three at the back. But um, the gaming toffee says, do you think four three one would suit our play squad with Hammers playing behind the two strikers? Yeah, but. Only if we have wingers who can go forward and we've got uh, f- uh, full backs who can go forward and that's why we desperately need a right back. Luca Dean can do it on the left but no one can do it on the right. Holgate and Coleman essentially, you want to buy someone who can do both of their jobs. So I think that could suit us but we've got to get full backs who go forward. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Why is it... I, I don't know how many times... I've, I've, we've explained this before about the two keepers on the bench. The reason there's two keepers on the bench is because they have three in the match day squad. Always, always have three goalkeepers in the match day squad. So instead of calling another player up to be on the bench, they just put the other goalkeeper on the bench. That's that's all that is. That's all that is. Um, no idea where Awobi is either. He played for Nigeria. He didn't have COVID, but I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe he has got maybe he has got COVID, but he hadn't. But Nigeria said he didn't have COVID. But who's to say that's factually correct? But going back to the goalkeeping situation, that's why we have two goalkeepers. Uh, the 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 Alan tackle prediction on Toffee Picks it'll be taken off because he's not playing. So it'll be that question will be taken off. Um. So. Uh, a well we tested negative well, uh, yeah maybe he did maybe when he got home he tested positive I don't know I'm just saying maybe Nigeria was so desperately f- desperate for him to play that I don't know I honestly don't know um, I'll have a little look on see what if Everton have said anything uh, no doesn't look like they have No, and I've not seen the pre pre match interviews yet. Sometimes in the pre match interviews they will say whether the um whether the what what whether the players are injured or not, and I'm not seeing anything. Um No. But no Alan. No Alan, no Bernard, no Wobi. Um, so good opportunity for other people today. Um, certainly Josh King, if he can get off the bench, good opportunity for him. Um, and we'll have to wait and see whether whether Gabaman gets involved or not. It'd be absolutely amazing if he if he is. Um, but we'll have to wait and see whether he does. And how fit he is! He's only actually played at Goodison once before in that Watford game. Which is absolutely incredible to think that. Um, I don't think, I don't think Holgate's in midfield. I just because I I don't see any evidence to suggest that he would be in midfield because Seamus Coleman has played in front of him today. Simple, you know. So. Yeah, the Allen the Allen question has been removed from Toffee Picks. Um, in case you're wondering about that one. Uh Sunland till I die says Yannick Balaxi scored for B- Burrett before you guys should get him back. No, we sh- well, he's out of contact in the summer. So no. And we've been trying to get rid of him for three years. So no. And just because he scored in that league means very little. Um Yeah, the bench is the bench is um woefully short we know that we knew that anyway we knew that anyway we've got players injured we've got the likes of the court this is the core that's alan bernard 
who were all injured. Um, so, but we've got Gabanan back. I mean, that's just that's just the greatest news ever. So he's only he only actually played at Goodison once before. One nil win over Wofford. It was our first first game at home last season. <laughs> and we're so that's mad. That's mad. Absolutely mad. So it'll be really interesting for him to uh to get back, to get back to Goodison Park and experience it once again and I honestly didn't think we'd see him again this season, but but it's great that he's back. Um, Godfrey got he was he missed the England on twenty one game, so maybe he's still feeling whatever he was was wrong with him. Um, I don't know. Obviously, Tom missed that game as well, but I suppose we're so light in midfield that Tom has to play. But I suppose with um, I suppose with the the options we've got in the back, it's not we're not desperate for Ben Godfrey to play. Although I would have liked his pace, um, I don't think it's five at the back. I think it's four at the back. I think Sheamus is playing in exactly the same, um, exactly the same position that he played against Manchester City and against Liverpool. So we'll wait and see. But I I think it'll be the same because who if it I just you, you, they can. T- him and him and Dean can play as wing backs when needed, but I think Holgate will settle into a right back position. But it can change during the game. We'll have to wait and see. Is Mean one hundred percent fit? Why would Mean and not be one hundred percent fit? He played in the last game, so I don't know why he wouldn't be one hundred percent fit. He played in Everton's last game against Manchester City two weeks ago. He's had two weeks. Uh, training at Finch Farm. He didn't go on international duty because there was no international duty. So, um, I think it'll be, it'll be probably like a four, two, three, one, <laughs> in a way, a variant of that with uh, Tom Davis and Gomez in midfield, and then Coleman on the right, Charlison on the left. Um, or some variant of that. It's only because we haven't got anyone. It could be a diamond midfield, but it couldn't really because Sheamus is playing. So the diamond would have to be, yeah, the diamond wouldn't really work. So, um, uh, Michael Woods, you've gone for, yeah, you've gone for, you've gone for the win. Gone for the win on Toffee Picks. Um, yeah, Gov, as I said, Gov, Godfrey was Godfrey didn't play in that under twenty ones game um for for England. So and as I said, Michael Keane can play. Um and I'm and, and I suppose Godfrey could come in into midfield as well. No, no, shame listen, I see the what people's point someone's made a point about James Coleman there, but who really else could play on the right? Who else could really play on the right other than Seamus Coleman? Really? We've got nobody. <clears throat> Hamas Rodriguez, yes, uh, could play. But you know he's going to drift inside. And Holgate won't go up the right wing. We know that. So, it's. I think Seamus will be playing on the as a right midfielder today. I think he'll be playing right midfielder like he did against Manchester City. But he can get back as well and help out. And he can go forward as well. Because we don't really have any other options. Yes, maybe Josh King could play there. But I don't think we've got any other options. And I think that's just fact. So, we'll we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll find out in 40 minutes, won't we? We'll find out in 40 minutes what's going on. Um, It could be three at the back playing wing-backs. Allowing... Hamas Rodriguez to play more centrally so we can get on the ball more and open open them up. 
we'll have to wait and see. What you know, what whatever we've been doing at home recently, it has not been the right thing, has it? Really? So, um, it's uh, it needs something a little bit different. Hopefully, hopefully, getting Hammers and Rodriguez on the ball as much as possible is what that formation is supposed to do. Um, simple as that. Uh, just looking at some of your comments, some weird shouts. No, Fabian, it will never be a match day with Everton Twitter without a meltdown. It will never, ever, ever. People react all the time to what the team is without ever knowing what the circumstances are and knowing who's 100% fit and who's not 100% fit. You know, I always look at the bench. I always look at the bench and think, what is on the bench that could play in that team? So you look at that bench and you think to yourself, who could play right side of midfield? Nobody. Nobody. Um, nobody. So, Hol okay, Sol, you said maybe Holgate could play in the, in the middle, but, so, why, why though? Because where is the evidence that he, there's no, there's no evidence that that, that would happen? Because we haven't seen it. Um, Meg says, "Do you do you reckon we have a chance of getting top four after Chelsea losing and Tottenham drawing?" Well, if we did, we'd have to win today, hundred percent. If we win today, then we're we're back in the mix, aren't we? Um, someone says no Terry Small, absolute joke. What why? Why is it a joke? He's sixteen. <laughs> he's sixteen and he's playing for the under eighteens and the under twenty threes. Why is it a joke? What have you seen? <laughs> why is it a joke? Well that yeah, unbelievable. I don't quite get that, but he's just some kid. You just what you're doing is you're being terrified because you've seen that he's been linked with other clubs, so therefore you think Everton should bow to his will. <laughs> so I'm afraid you fallen into the biggest trap in football, which is seeing a rumour and then panicking. Uh would I have Max Adams? Uh yeah, because his crosses into the box is he's one of the highest crosses into the box in Europe, I believe. So that's exactly what we need. Crosses into the box. Um and we'll have to wait wait and see, I suppose. Whether it happens, but there's a lot of rumours. Um Oh my god. What well, um, what's that person's name? Let let's Matt's debate. Shut up about Terry Sport Small. Nobody cares. Are you his mum? Why why so hang on, hang on, right. So you see a story in the paper about a kid that might leave because he's got no first because there's no there's no pathway, right? And you think we should pl we should have him on the bench for the next game? That's not how football works. It's not how football works. It's not how it works at all. Stephen Griffiths, what do I think we need as transfer as target? We need a right back. Um, definitely need a right back. We need a winger who can play on the right and and in the left. And we need another centre midfielder who can get up and around the pitch like the Corey. Um and maybe and maybe a centre forward, maybe. Maybe. Um but Allen's as as right back Allen's as numbers are exactly what we need, so uh, we must win, as Danny Smith says. Yeah, we've got to win tonight, and we've got to win, we've got to win, because we get up to get up to the same points then as Spurs and Liverpool uh, and West Ham, who are playing after us. Uh, a couple of points behind Chelsea, we've got a game in hand. Um, yeah, so we've got to win this. We've also we've just got to start winning our home games. It's as simple as that. Just got to win our home games. Nothing else really matters. 
Um, uh, keep all sell. Michael Wood says, get yourself signed up for Patreon. It's class. There you go. And he actually paid money to say that. Which is mad. Um, make sure, yeah, make sure you get on the Toffee Picks straight away. Make sure you, if you haven't done Toffee Picks, go and do it. Takes a couple of minutes. You just got to pick your choices from the questions asked. Like, will Dom score? Will Charles has scored? There'll be eleven questions because the Allen one's not in there because he's not playing. Um, <laughs> do you know that Terry Small is sixteen? Do you know that, don't you? Like, he's sixteen years of age, and. We have one of the best left backs in Europe playing for us, and we have Nkunku behind him. So, you know, stop crying that he's not on the bench because you just sound like an idiot, massive, massive idiot. Um, game and toffee, three to four signings in the summer, maybe, maybe like three first teamers and maybe like a up and coming player as well. Um. To go with it. Would I go for Almer on Mick Flynn? Um, I don't know. I think he's a hard working player. I just don't think he's physically physically up to the the Premier League. I just uh, Ma- so Maxim is a better bet. I'd say. I think he's got the pace and a lot of tricks. He does get it. Tend to get injured a lot. I do like the look of him. Someone will take a chance on him. And he could be, um, he could be the player, but we'll have, we'll have to see. Uh, Roy Keane, have I ever tombstone piled? I actually have, you know, I actually have. I've, I've tombstone someone, yeah. Um, do you think Carlo knows which players he will sell? Yeah, I think he will. Um, I think he will sell um, Moise Keane. Yeah, I think he'll sell Moise Keane. Uh, people will believe anything, won't they? They'll believe anything they see in the newspapers or online. We do, Michael Winstanley, we do need creativity. We need creativity massively. We need, like, all-round midfielders who can get in the box. Um, simple as that. David Sanchez, why didn't the club keep Colassi? Because he's not good enough. And neither is Bessage. Simple as that. Um, you don't need Europe to attract players. You really don't need Europe to attract players. You need money to attract players. You need money and to show people that you're going in the di- right direction. Um, there you go. <laughs> Someone just mentioned Delafeu there. Delafeu was great, but he was just really inconsistent. And also, he was blown out of his ass after 20 minutes of every game. And what's he really done since he left Everton? That's the question you've got to ask yourself, isn't it? They, that's always the thing you've got to ask yourself. What have they done since he left Everton? And he's done very little. Um... Harry says, do you think Gabam will be a future starter? I do. I think he's exactly what we need. Um, I think he's exactly what we need. But, you know, we've got to get fit. He's got to get fit. Don't, you know, simple as that. Get fit. Do I think Ron would ever consider returning? No. I'd love him to return. Because he's uh, incredible. Um, why would Rabio be a good replacement for Decore? You mean when Decore wasn't playing? No, they'd have to play together in the same team. Um, I'd absolutely love. I was watching a video of all the Rom's goals before. It's absolutely. Absolutely just incredible. His goals, he scored all kinds of different goals. And that's the difference between him and 
him and Dom, isn't it? Dom really only gets he gets headers and he gets the tappings in the six yard box, but he doesn't get he doesn't score the kind of goals that Dom uh, Rom scored, where he bend them in from outside the box and um. But Rom Rom is top level, top level, and he'll win the league this season. He'll win the league in Italy with Inter. I just love both of them. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> is Fabian Delft the biggest leech? Uh, yeah, I really would like him to leave the football club. Massively. Um, would I take Ross Barkley back? I like the kind of player Ross Barkley is. I just don't know if he's got an, any kind of appetite for playing football anymore. It's mad that he can't even get in that Villa side. And I know he's had injury problems, but it's mad that he can't get in that Villa side. Um, Glenn or the Mandalorian episodes are brilliant. But I think we need a player like Ross Barkley who can pick the ball up and run with it. I think that's something we miss massively in this team is players who can move the ball. Um, yeah, the ball that is supposed to be available and Everton's name will always come up. But some so Ross, the kind of player Ross was, the way he could pick the ball up and run, is something something we miss massively. I'm not saying Ross is the answer. I'm just saying that's the kind of play we need. And I thought that was the kind of play we were going to get with Andre Gomez, someone who picked the the ball up and just run with it. Um. So I don't. I, there must be players like that out there, but that's what we need. Could could Rado, which one the one at which could the one at Juventus? Um, Rom against Bournemouth in the last season might be the greatest performance I've seen from uh, uh, an Everton number nine that decade. Well, I mean it was a great performance. He wasn't wearing the number nine, but yeah, it was a great performance. He was incredible. Is is game the game we lost uh, five four to Stoke? At home around the Christmas time, he was un- he was unbelievable in that. He was unplayable. He was unplayable in that game, absolutely unplayable. And he he kept on watching our defenders concede stupid goals and was just looking at them like, "What are you doing?" Um, do you think we'll sell Gilfie? Only if a really good offer comes in for him. I can see them giving him a new contract more than anything else. Ken Rushton problem with Lukaku is his attitude, not an Everton player, never was. Well, I think he definitely was an Everton player. I think, I always look at it like this. I always think, if you want to go play at places, you've got to have a certain level, or a certain standard. And if you expect players to blindly follow you, then, you know, you've got to, live up to what they want and Everton didn't live up to what Ron, Ron Lukaku wanted he wanted to play in the Champions League he wanted to win trophies and you know we never did that we never went out and bought players so whether he was an Everton player or not he still scored loads of goals for us uh, who's that? I haven't played Days Gone no I haven't played it no Um. Carlo normally does an interview before the match, but I'm not seeing one. Normally we get sent it, but I'm not seeing one. So, and obviously I'm not watching the coverage because I'm doing this. Um, Romelu Lukaku is not a lazy player. I, it embarrasses me that shout. Anyone who scores the amount of goals he scored was Gary Lineker a lazy player? Was was Yakubu a lazy player? You know. He scored goals. He did his job. It's taken him this long to replace him. Kula Barley. Kula Barley's problems is age. And the price tag attached to his age would be mad. Absolutely mad. So, I can't really see us going anywhere near that. Um, I would try and buy Michael Woods. I would try and buy Ward Prowse. Um... I don't know, something about him, I don't know. He just seems he just seems to me like a like a Leon Osman. No, I'm not having this Lukaku lazy not it's not it's absolute nonsense. Scored absolutely amazing goals for us. 
Why do Evertonians always pick the faults in players rather than see what they're good at? If I'm a centre forward and I'm told to score 20 goals a season and I score 20 goals a season, then I've done my job. Simple as that. I've done my job. It's like now with, with Dom, people pick faults with them. I don't understand why they're picking faults with them all the time. Get more crosses into him and see what he does. You know, people, yeah, some people like love people like Nias and garbage players. And and yet, when we have world class players, they just get slagged off. It's mad, absolutely mad. He was absolute, absolute world class player, Lukaku. That's why he signed for Man United, and that's why he plays for Inter Milan now. And he'll win the league this season. Definitely, uh, definitely Ben Chilwell. Um, is there no coverage of the game yet? Okay, fair enough. I n- I don't watch the coverage of the games anyway. Be- anyway, but even before I started doing this, I wasn't cut watching coverage of the games. It's just nonsense. It's they're just nonsense. They just talk about things that are not like applicable um, to anything that anyone cares about. You know. I miss Lukaku. I, I genuinely do miss Lukaku. I dem- genuinely do. And you know what? He might get old. I don't think he will. But he might get as he gets older, he might realise how important his time was at Everton and how much he was loved by... I remember the week that he said he wasn't signing a contract and he scored against Hull, I think it was. And the Gladys were well, like... I don't know whether he thought it, but... Whether he knew knew before the game, but he went over to Gladys and the Gladys was just singing his name and everything because they were just like you're doing. Your... My way is like if you're doing your job on your pit on the pitch, then that's all I can ask. That's all I can ask. Liam, big dunk or rom? Well, if you're talking about strikers, it's rom. Rom is a million times better than dunk. But dunk is like the person at the time when I was a kid that he was just the idol and he carried the the badge. On his arm and f- had fights on your behalf, and that's why everyone loves him because he loved Everton. Rom's different. Rom's like a modern footballer. Doesn't doesn't give him monkeys probably, but he does. But he doesn't. Do you know what I mean? Like Fellaini, Fellaini'd go every every international thing, and people would ask him whether he was leaving. He'd be like, "Well, I'd like to play Champions League." Richarlison has been doing it, but no one seems to have cared that Richarlison's doing it. He's done it where he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to talk to." And um, no, at the end of the season, I'm going to see where we are and all this. Now he's been coming out saying, oh, I'm going to stay Carlo and all this. But Richarlison does it as well. All footballers do it at the end of the day. All footballers. It's a very, very short career. You get like 10 years, don't you? Really. And you might get five of them where you're at your absolute peak. And you've got to win stuff in that time. And footballers get a chance to go and play for big clubs. They're going to go. And if you're not matching them as a club, then what do you expect? If you're not like going out and buying strikers, you know, then what do you expect? Now maybe Everton, with the news of the stadium, people will look at it now when we go and buy players and go, right, but that's where we're going, that's what we're heading towards. So Fellaini was immense. Um now people might go, well, we're moving to that stadium and we're gonna that's where we're heading. Um so uh, Brian says Hammers or Bruno. Well, I actually think Hammers is like a better player, but I think Bruno can do more. And he scored what sixteen goals this season. I think Hammers is a better footballer, but Bruno's very much in his peak, which obviously Hammers isn't. Um, Michael, we're not signing Lukaku. Don't worry about it. We're not signing him. It's just so there's no point. No point. I hate hypothetical questions. I really do, because we're not signing Rom. Rom's amazing, but we're not signing Rom. But yeah, not really talking about this game much, are we? <laughs> uh, yeah, Saint Maxim. What's that? I really want Saint Maxim. He's a good player. He's a good player. Um, is he inconsistent? I don't know. I do think someone good will sign him though and they'll bring him in off the bench and stuff. And You'll see a good player there. Definitely. 
Bobby says even if he was lazy, he was our best. He was brilliant. He was brilliant. Lukaku was brilliant. I don't know why people sort of like try and reject that fact that he was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant player. <laughs> Daniel kind of forgot about the Palace game, yeah. Uh, since late skills, height and get all Foon's Mori. Height and get I, Foon's Mori was a, was just a massive fraud. Heidinger was to a bit as well, but Heidinger was a better player. Foon's Mori was absolutely garbage, garbage. Hammers or Arteta? Well, Hammers was a much better player than Arteta, but again, though, we're talking about Everton. Arteta was brilliant for Everton. Michael Winstanley, how has Saar been for Watford? Anyone know? I think he's been alright, you know. He's definitely someone I'd look at, but they're probably going to come up, so... So that'd be difficult, but... But Norwich are coming up, I'm supposed to be in the race for Max Aaron, so... the I suppose for these clubs, if they're coming up, they're probably thinking, if we sell a player, and we can go out and buy three or four players, then that might keep us in the Premier League. I mean, that's what I'd be thinking if I was Norwich. But then they might be thinking they could stay up with them. But what if they keep them and, and they don't have money to buy and then they'll end up going down again? Whereas they sell Max Aarons. Matty is high, from, high in Brazil. Um, da- Danny Smith says, Danny Ings, question mark. I like Danny Ings, um, which I've been slated for. But I like him. I just think with his age and his knee and what they'd want for him. I, but I do think that he'd be... Um, I do think he'd be a good buy for someone like Man City or even Man United. Someone you could bring in off the bench and play in. No, he doesn't have to play every game. Uh, Daniel says, favourite player in Everton in whole life of Everton. My probably favourite ever player is Duncan Ferguson because he's just an amazing. He was just amazing at being a lunatic and scoring goals against Liverpool and important goals. And he's boss since he's finished as well. Uh, how come the club haven't counter haven't brands as new contractors? I have no idea. I thought it was done. I heard it was done. Mashiri said it was done, but it hasn't been signed yet. Arteta, who's that? Nathan Arteta was incredible till he got his knee injury against Newcastle, and then it, and then he just wasn't quite the same player. But he was a brilliant player. Brilliant player. Uh, Bobby Andre Gomez is the next 10 games up to convince me of his quality. I'm convinced that he's not good enough for Evans' first team. So, Matty says, what is your favourite Brazilian player? What of all time? Or right now? My favourite Brazilian player of all time is Ronaldo R9. Who's just an absolute incredible footballer. Absolutely incredible footballer, which... He doesn't get the credit, enough credit, sadly. He was absolutely amazing. Even after his knee injuries, he was absolutely, absolutely incredible player. Incredible player. Uh, what's that? Chicane's his thoughts on the links to Mina going to Italy. Well, he's got two years left on his contract, hasn't he, in the summer? So they're either, have to go, they're either going to have to give him a new contract or sell him, really, aren't they? You know, this is the, the you know its value will just drop massively after that. Um. So. Right, a couple more minutes. Uh, McCarthy or Allen? McCarthy was great in his first season till he was ruined by the manager. Apparently, Allen was injured in training. Apparently. Uh, he was playing McCarthy, and then the, the then um, he was told not to play him at Wolfsburg. He was told to rest him, but because Martinez knows better than the physios, played him, and he got injured, and he came off, and he was never the same player, never the same player, and he still isn't the same player. Martinez ruined them, and he was a brilliant player, James McCarthy, a brilliant player, and Martinez ruined them, absolutely ruined them. <laughs> Neymar for Keane plus 50 million. Do we get the 50 million? Nah, Neymar's amazing, but he's signing a new contract, isn't he? His wa- Imagine what his wages would be like. Jesus Christ. Um, Apparently, Alan's got a minor injury. She'll be back for next week, apparently. Uh, 
Uh, Vlasic has done well. He has done well in in Russia, but and apparently he's going to get a move in the summer to uh, to Milan, one of the Milan sides, which is great. Wrong place, wrong time. Vlasic, same with Luchman. Wrong place, wrong time. It just happens in football. Sometimes you make that move too quickly, and the club you're signing for don't have a a system for you. Um, just sometimes it happens, and it's sad. I do think I do think Vlasic is a good player. I just think it was. Just, just wrong time and under the wrong managers. <laughs> David Hennan is a real footballer, but he's more of an Instagram player. <laughs> Do I think Godfrey will make the twenty euros? No, no chance. Not a chance on earth. Um, will I be back in this? Yeah, of course I'll be back in the stadium. I hate not being at the match. Footy is absolutely garbage without fans. Absolutely garbage. Um, no, Vlasic was a great player, but or is a great player, but he just it was just the wrong time. Look at who was the manager when he was at Everton. <laughs> Sam Allardyce. Simple as that. Yeah, I think the same with a Wobi. A Wobi will a Wobi's. I don't think Awobi ever wanted to come to Everton. I think he's a London boy. I don't think he ever wanted to come to Everton. And he's at Everton, and then what happens within a, within six months? Um, he's manager who signed him's gone. Don't forget, you've got 14 minutes to get your toffee picks in. Honestly, I can't stress this enough. I know I'm selling it, but it's because it's our game. <laughs> it's our game. It's no one else's game. It's our game, right? And you've got a chance of winning money every game we play it. I do put, watch the if you watch the video we've done me and Baz. We we play it in the vid, in the video. We play it. I pick my I pick my pick. Look, toffee picks. I don't know if you can see it there. I'm going. Whoa, there it is. Toffee picks. See there. There it is. Right. I click on it. it comes up. Oh, I'm going to my camera. Look, the official Pickham app of. There you go. Log in. Just logging in. There you go. So I've already put my picks in. That's how easy it is. And you just put your picks in. So my picks are already in, look. Sorry, it's a bit shiny. My picks are already in. It takes it takes two minutes. It takes two minutes. It's free to play. £500. £500. Play responsibly. T's and C's apply. You have to be over 18. Got you got to be eighteen. There you go. Free money. Someone will win money tonight, so you might as well go and do have a go. My, if you want to see what my guesses are, they're in the video, Toffee Picks video, which you should have already watched. God, God. Um, the I don't know what what I don't know what the score is going to be because Everton at home are awful, awful. Absolute awful. Uh, Arteta was better than Gomez. You gotta be fair. He was. No, it's not an iPhone. It's a Samsung. I don't do iPhones. No, Josh. You do not have to. You do not have to link your credit card first. No, you don't. Don't need bank details. You just pl- go and p- just go and play it. You've got twelve minutes to get your to get your um, picks in for the game. You don't need to link your credit card. For it. It's free. You don't need to link your credit card. Toffeepicks.com. You go to right. You make a little app. See that? What I did was you click on the thing and you make it a little app on the phone yourself. See the way it's got the little Chrome thing on it. Look, you're getting an insight here to my to my apps on my phone as well. Get over there and have a go. Listen, we've got 10 games. 10 games. 10 games to sort ourselves out, haven't we? 10 games. We've got five six-pointers against Spurs, Arsenal... West Ham and two against Villa. Do 
they're the six pointers. So you don't have to be in the UK. You can be loads of places around the world. It's not an app. It's not an app. It's not an app. Toffeepicks.com. You make it an app. It's not an app. So it's not in an app store. You go to a website. You go to on Google Chrome. You go on Google Chrome and you go on toffeepicks.com and you make it a little app for your phone, but it's not an app. So it's not in the app store. You go to toffeepicks.com. You've got 10 minutes. Some countries you can't play in because they don't allow it. But it's a website. It's called toffeepicks.com. But it's not in the app store. Not yet anyway. We're working on that for the summer. No, right. It's not an app. Right? You can make it a little app like I have. Put it on your screen. Right? If you want. Right? But it's not an app. I don't know if iPhones can do that. Maybe they can't because they're not as good as... Android phones, it, but that, that's not the point. That's not the point. Point is that you just go to the website toffeepicks.com and play. It's just a mobile website. That's all it is. It's not an app, and you can play it in most countries around the world. Some you can't, like Holland, you can't because they have certain laws. So, okay, what you get out of it? You can win money. You can win money. Simple as that. You can win money. So. <laughs> so, hang on. I'll repeat. It's not an app. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to give you free money. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to give you free money. That's all it is. That's all it is. On, on, on good phones like Samsung's, you can add websites to the page of your phone. So it makes it look like it's like a little app. So all you have to do then is go. Hang on, hang on, where's the camera? Bonk. And it comes up, see? Save it means you don't have to go through like websites and stuff. It just it takes you automatically there. It's a little shortcut. There you go. <sighs> Selling hard. No, what do you as tough? It's our game, so what do you think we get out of it? What do you think we get out of it if it's our game? Use your imagination for what we get out of it. It's our game. So it doesn't I can't explain the business model to you right here, right now. I can't do that. So I can't explain the business model to you. But it's fine. Honestly, trust me. I know I made a shortcut. I know it's a shortcut. I know it is, but it's like an app, isn't it? Why, you know, come on. You don't need to... Yeah, well, then you can do do it then. Do it. Make a shortcut and put it on your home screen. I just call it an app. Does it really matter? With semantics here, aren't we? We're just, you know, come on. Uh, is it an app? What do you get out of it? Go and play it. You've got five minutes to sign up. Um, T's and C's. Must be over 18. Bet responsibly. Play responsibly. You can win. Last game, five people won £100 each. It's Is it logistics or is it science? That's what you've got to, that's what you've got to ask yourself. That's what you've got to ask yourself. Is it logistics or is it science? There you go. Right. I'm going to go because this game is about to kick off. And I'm not really. I'll be honest with you. I'm not really excited. At all. I'm not really excited. I just hope we win. I hope I can come back here in two hours and be happy. But, yeah. I'm not really excited. Yeah. Football matches don't really excite me at the moment. I just want to get back into the ground. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, I'm going because the game's kicking off very, very shortly. So enjoy the match. I'll be back after the match live to talk about whatever happened. Hopefully it's all positive and good and we can be happy and 
be like, yeah, we're going for Europe. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.